this is how, how deep it is. He did one walkthrough and we're rehearsing. You never know. And he just slowly walked through. And then the next day, there were new actors. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, that's why you always got to be on your P's and Q's, you know, because you never know who watching. Like I said, someone always watching anyways. Um, but Which I'm hoping Henry Winkler didn't see me <laughs> the way I did. I'm, I'm so worried about Henry Winkler. You I know think. what's so funny? Henry do watch the cuts, though. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, Barry. I, I'm telling you, I've been a fan of his forever. He's the Juilliard. I think he's Juilliard, dude. He's yeah, I'm a, I, I gotta hit him up to be, get on the uh, on the podcast because he DMs me like on the like if he oh 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 here you go I'm gonna make your freaking day he DM'd me saying how good our scenes were show me there you, show, yeah, I'm gonna show, you. show me guess what you about to make my day I got oh the DMs yo I have been and he's one of those actors that. I know it took forever for him to shake that Fonzie in person, you know, that persona and all of that, because that's how I knew that, you know, he was classically trained and he was this and he was that, but he has really, you talk about longevity yeah. and said something a long time ago, you know, there's no finish line in this business, but he is really parlated and he's still acting when he acts, but I didn't even know he was a freaking producer. Yeah. Paul MacGyver. He was a producer on the original MacGyver, too. Yeah. Yeah. Paid. He uh, is paid. I mean, you ain't got to look for it now. Just, just text it to me, you know. I'll just text it to you. <laughs> Make my day. Uh, oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. So what a ride. I'm, uh, I'm excited for you. Well, I appreciate that. You've been nothing but uh, supportive since we met. All right, all right. This this is the last thing I want to ask you. How has it been uh, being a black woman in Hollywood? What's some of the the struggles that you feel like you faced as a black woman in Hollywood? Wow. The lack of roles and the challenges that come with that. So, you know, if you look at our counterparts, you know, there's so many leads, you know, the Kate Winslet, Scarlett Johansson, the this, the that, you know, everybody's got a movie, everybody's got a movie. And then, you know, there's Viola, Angela, you know, we're a handful in terms of the roles that, you know, really become available that if you compare it apples for apples, it is what it is. Um, so that, that's a challenge, you know, and now you got so many of the film stars doing television. Mm -hmm. You know, even though there's so many other platforms, but now that pool is getting crowded, you know, the watering hole, it, it gets smaller and smaller. Um, and I, I don't focus on that, but I'm just seeing the shift, you right. know. Um, of course, you know, uh, when I heard that Viola wasn't getting her due in terms of pay, that blew me away. Uh, with that. I know it's, I've always seen it with women and men, especially, you know, being on a show like the Steve Harvey show. It was, you know, you know, you knew who was cash cow and everybody else got crumbs. Right. I mean, not, not like that. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, I was dealing with that. So no, I, I mean, I, I know, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. So that's, that's been hard. So between being a woman and having to deal not only with, you know, being a black woman, but being a woman in this business has been different. But I'm, I'm just so proud of so many uh, female directors and producers that are out there right now. And, you know, I'm ready to take the leap. It's just like, ooh, between my nonprofit, that's the only reason, because my school was my baby, that I haven't really, you know, worn that hat and wig as well. Because uh, there's just so many moving parts, and it's like my word has been balance, and I really want balance. And one thing that I can say through this whole quarantine and all of that, it's like at the end of the day, I just want to be happy. Mm -hmm. Like I, the the chase, I'm good, I'm good with it, you know. And I feel like you know the roles and the work that I do now, I really want them to be meaningful, impactful, or, or at least fun. If I ain't having fun at the end of the day, you know, yep. I'm good. 
So, um, yeah, I think that's, that's the greatest thing is that there's just not as many yet. And, you know, I mean, are we going to get there? I mean, everything is a reboot or a remake. It's like, okay. Oh, trust I me, feel I know. for my writers, you know, <laughs> the, you know the new ideas and, and all of that. So They just sent me a reboot for, for well, some TV show. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I just fucking did MacGyver. I did Rush Hour. I was in the movie 21 Jump Street. I mean... I'm like, I'm the reboot king. I'm like, God damn. Hey, look, y'all don't happy. knock it. Look, don't knock it. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Don't I'm going to tell you one, one of the best things you told me is, you know, like, don't take this show for granted or being on a network show for granted, you know. Um, and finally, I, this is the last thing I wanted to ask you was, because you, you kind of touched on it, the school is your baby. I thought it was something very interesting that you told me on set, which was how you don't have any kids. And mm-hmm. it was because... I think the reason was you were so focused on your career. And cause I, I was asking you about uh, working on the set of Insecure with, with Issa. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyways, what do you have to say about that? Do you have anything to say for any upcoming, you know, women, you know, in the industry when it comes to whether to make time to have a family or focus on your career or, you know, just what's your thoughts on that? Cause I thought it was very interesting. It, it is very interesting. And, you know, nobody can tell you your walk because nobody can tell me. It was like, oh, I got, I got a job to do. I'm going to work. <laughs> I'm going, you know. And, <laughs> and it was very interesting. And I forgot who I was listening to, but it really hit me. And it was like, don't let this business rob you of your womb. Mm. And I was like, ooh, rob me of my womb, you know, and I had never thought about that. But sometimes, you know, we get into this, um, our masculine energy as women, and, you know, we want to go at the same rate as, you know, men, but men have a different trajectory, you know, let the man be the man, you know, and sometimes it's okay if you want to take the time to make the time to have your legacy, your right. legacy you know, and all of that. So uh, I'm the last one to tell somebody what to do, but going back to being in quarantine and COVID, it's like, well, who, 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 who gonna take care of me? <laughs> you know? I go into pressures and I'm like, who, uh, you know, so you start thinking and really, you know, at the end of the day, cause I've lost so many friends and acquaintances, you know, in this past year and a half. And, you know, I don't want to end on a sad note, but I want to end on some real shit. Right, straight up. At the end of the day, you know, we work for all of this, and then you can't take it with you. You know, Denzel got this whole thing. Ain't going to be no U-Haul truck behind that hearse, okay? So, you know, just, you know, plant your seeds and water them and enjoy your life. And, you know, if you choose to have a family with that right person, because it could make you or break you as well. I've seen, you know, a lot of, you know, my, uh, I wouldn't even call them friends, but, you know, associates, you know, have families and it's like hell, but, you know, I do believe that procreating is a beautiful thing. (laughs) 